Hello, second grade. This is module three, lesson 14. And our objective today is I can model numbers with more than nine ones or nine tens. Write in expanded form, unit, standard, and word form. Okay, so we are going to count by ones starting at 76. But when you see this arrow right here, you're going to continue counting backwards. And when you see this arrow here, you're going to continue counting forwards. So let's start at 76 and start counting. Here we go. Seventy-six, seventy-seven, seventy-eight, seventy-nine, eighty, eighty-one. Oh, we're going to switch directions. So we're counting backwards from eighty-one. You count eighty-one, eighty. Continue. Okay, we're switching directions again. So we're counting forward. So from 78, count up. 79, continue. Okay, we're counting forwards again. From 87, 88, continue. Now we're counting backwards again from 103, 102, continue. Okay, we're going to count forwards again from 98. 99, continue. One hundred and six, good job. A second grade class has twenty three students. What is the total number of fingers of all the students? Okay, so you need to think about, are you going to add or subtract, and how are you going to set this up? Go ahead and push pause, and then push play when you're done solving. Okay, so this is how I solved it. Let's compare answers. I said that there were 23 students, and I know that there are 
10 fingers for each student. <clears throat> so I drew out 23 tens. So let's count here. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100 here. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100 here. And there are three left over here. This is 10 tens. This is 10 tens because there are 20 here. And then there's three ones here, which are also three tens. So 100 plus 100 plus 30 equals 230. So 23 students have 230 fingers. Another way to solve this is by dividing these up. So I wrote, I wrote 23 groups of 10 here. First, I broke up the 23. There's 20 or two tens and there are three ones here or there's 20 tens and three tens and then we broke up the 20 here with 10 and 10 and we know that 10 tens equals 100 so I put 100 plus 100 plus the extra 30 or the extra three tens right here and the total of that is 230. 23 students have 230 fingers. Okay, so this is what we're going to be doing today. I have a um, place value chart here, and I'm going to use disks to draw the number 206 using hundreds, tens, and ones. So first, I need to figure out how many hundreds do I need. Looks like I need two. So let's add two. One, two. Now how many tens do I need? Doesn't look like I need any tens because there is a zero there. How many ones do I need? All right, I need six. So let's add six ones. One, two, three, four, five, six. <clears throat> so I finished my place value chart. Now I need to figure out how many hundreds, how many tens, and how many ones. And I got to fill these blanks in. So 206 equals how many hundreds? Two, right. So we have two hundreds. How many tens? zero tens and how many ones six ones good okay now here's another tricky one 206 equals how many hundreds and how many ones they took out the tens here so how many hundreds does 206 equal right two hundreds and how many ones right six ones all right, here's another one. We need to first draw 18 using hundreds, tens, and ones. So how many hundreds do I need? Right, I don't need any hundreds because I don't have any here. How many tens do I need? All right, I need one. There's my one ten. Now how many ones do I need? Right, eight. So let's add eight ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's my eight ones. Now I need to fill this chart out. Eighteen equals how many hundreds? Correct. There are zero hundreds. 18 ones equals how many tens? 
How many tens? One ten. And how many ones? Eight ones. Okay, so this one's tricky. How many ones are there in 18? 18 equals how many ones? Now we don't have the tens. So you're going to have to just write how many ones. So 18 equals 18 ones. All right, here's another one. We're going to draw 315 using hundreds, tens, and ones. Go ahead and draw that. Okay, so let's compare this now. How many hundreds did you draw? I drew three. Is that how many you drew? Good job. How many tens did you draw? I drew one. Is that how many you drew? Excellent job. And how many ones did you draw? I drew five ones. Is that how many you draw? Okay, now let's fill out this other chart here. 315 equals how many one hundreds, how many tens, and how many ones? How many hundreds does it equal? Three, good. And how many tens? One, correct. And how many ones? Five, good job. Okay, now it says 315 equals how many hundreds and how many ones? They took out the tens again, so be careful. How many hundreds does it equal? Right, three. And since we don't have tens, we have to add the tens with our ones. So how many ones does it equal? Did you say 15? Give yourself a kiss on the brain. All right, so do 419. Draw your discs and then answer these over here. Push pause and then push play when you're done. Okay, so let's compare answers. I added one, two, three, four hundreds, and I added one tens, and I added one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine ones. Is this what yours looks like? I hope so. Okay, so you should have filled these in also. So 419 equals how many hundreds, how many tens, and how many ones? I put four hundreds, one ten, and nine ones. Is that what yours looks like? Good job. Now how about down here? They're getting tricky again. They took out the tens, so we need to add the tens with the ones again. So how many hundreds did you put? Did you put four? Good job. And how many ones did you put? 19. Good job. All right, do this one and be careful again. Draw 570 and then fill out your chart here. Go ahead and push pause and then push play when you're done. So I put one, two, three, four, five hundreds and I put one two three four five six seven tens and I didn't put any ones because there aren't any ones are there okay so now I need to fill out my charts here how many hundreds does 570 equal five good and how many tens seven and how many ones zero. All right. Now this is tricky again because they took out the tens. We're adding the tens with the ones again. So how many hundreds are there? Five. And how many ones? You should have put 70. There are 70 ones. 
All right, do this one on your own. How many hundreds did you put? I put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven hundreds. How many tens did you put? I put one, two, three, four. And how many ones did you put? I put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, you should have filled out your charts down here too. So, four, 748 equals how many hundreds, how many tens, and how many ones? I put it equals seven hundreds, four tens, and eight ones. Is that what you wrote down? And down here, they took out the tens again. So four, 748 equals how many hundreds and how many ones? I put seven hundreds and 48 ones. It is now your turn. You are going to, um, for number one, you're going to draw 241 using hundreds, tens, and ones. For B, you're going to draw 241 using only tens and ones. Then for number two down here, you're going to fill in the blanks. So A, 45 equals how many hundreds, tens, and ones? 45 equals how many ones? B is 68 equals how many hundreds, tens, and one, or sorry, 682 equals how many hundreds, tens, and ones, and 682 equals how many hundreds, how many ones. Take a picture and then send it to me. Good luck.